It's Coach Jay here. I'm going to show you how to do the split squat, but this split squat is actually going to be for the beginners. So all I'm going to encourage you to do here is I want you to put one foot in front of the other. You want to be wide enough here so that one, when you come down from this position here, you're not actually looking like this. We want two 90 degree angles the best that we can at the bottom of the floor, okay? So when you get advanced, you're gonna be able to come all the way down here and tap your knee to your mat, but not as a beginner. As a beginner, because of your weight or your fitness level, all you're going to do is with a wide base of support, meaning that this heel is wider than this heel here, okay? And I'll show you from the back. This is the hard position. This is the easier position, okay? So wider width between one another. Width creates more base of support, all right? So if you find that you have balance difficulties, you're gonna widen that width between your heels, all right? Now, the next thing here is, I'm going to stable my front heel into this ground with all my might. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply drop a bit and then come back up. Now notice how I'm not completely straightening either leg. That's not what I want. I want you to stay slightly bent throughout. I want you to drive the hind leg down. Boom, and then come back up. Boom, then come back up. Boom, then come back up, okay? This is going to be an indicative movement for those of you who have knee pain or you're too heavy in order to create the full range of motion. So what I'm trying to get you to understand here is I want you to use what's available to you. So if you have knee pain and you can only support this to this, I am happy with this because this is going to drive blood flow into my knee, okay? And blood flow is what heals the body. But then once you're done with this form here, because now you can stable the joints and now you're stronger, guess what? Now I want you to go a little deeper, okay? So the goal here is to stay above 90 degrees. When you become an intermediate to advance, again, you'll be able to touch your knee to the ground. So all I want you to do is do the correct amount of reps and or time under tension that I set for you in that exact form. Last piece here is your breathing, right? So again, your heel is stable in the front. You're gonna inhale down, exhale up. The last point outside of breathing is your heel. I see a lot of my beginner clients try to start their form like this. First of all, you're gonna topple over. Next. This is not proper form, period, because your heel needs to be up. So you need to flex your calf in the back to lift your heel off of the ground. And this is your starting position here, where you drop that high knee and then you come back up. Inevitably, where I want you to feel this is in your glutes. If you feel this in your knee, what you're doing is you're not dropping the high knee down, you're literally driving the high knee forward. Watch again slowly. You're not dropping the hind knee down, okay? You are driving the front knee forward. If you do that and you have pain in your knee, you are going to exacerbate that intensity in your knee. It's going to create inflammation and you won't be able to do it anymore. So carefully focus all of your intention through pushing through this front heel that's going to turn on the glute and then driving the high knee down so we can keep the glute on and the hamstring. And again, go through the range of motion that is comfortable for you and that you can properly control without feeling any pain.